And what's up, Doctor? Welcome back to Trauma Center New Blood. Yeah, I'm ready to operate on some more people. Let's operate on some more people. I, I, I get a, a great joy out of cutting people open and messing around <laughs> with their organs. I wish to be included, please. I wish I wish to have you included too. This uh, game's the game. It makes the game way easier. I want to jump into people's esophagi. Let's, Let's go. All right, I think we're gonna deal with uh, someone's heart today because it's a pacemaker. Mm hmm. You know, it is I, the pacemaker. You will now die. We'll be implanting a pacemaker. I'm just thinking, what if a yes. pacemaker we'll has the rhythm of a metronome? How annoying would that get? Will also be performing the pre-op examination. You mean just oh, you, you just hear in your heart? Why us and not a cardiologist? You know, and then when your heart rate goes up, all the all of a sudden it's seven eighths. No, it's still. Needs to pump more blood. <laughs> Because uh oh, I uh oh, uh oh. A team of specialists will be available to assist you, but I doubt that will be necessary. Because we are the specialists. We're special. Special. By the way, the staffs treated us. This can be considered as a preparation phase for the actual. Are we getting hazed by our fellow doctors? Yes. Get, oh. get dunked on, freshman. Oh, it's college all over again. Shit. You rookies don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. And in the background, you just see Valerie and Marcus taking down a whole keg by themselves. This is a part of the initiation? Yes, now drink. <laughs> drink and operate, go! Are you sure it's not gonna hurt? You'll be it's gonna be the most the entire intense time. pain of your life. But only for a second. Of course, you don't know much about pain because you're so young, so this would be a great learning experience. Nothing else will hurt as bad as this will for your whole life, that? especially in your teenage years. I promise that Hi, Nanako. 12% of all no patients wake up under the knife. You might be one of them, dear. If it's gonna keep me asleep, <laughs> is that an actual, uh... Is that an actual, uh... No, but it is a distressing number, yeah. So that know. does actually happen. I don't think it's like 12%, but it might be like something... It's Yikes! Still, still, uh, yeah. I have actually woken up under well, anesthesia, um, but it was because they had to knock me out because I hated pain so much, and they had to put a cast on my arm, <laughs> so they just knocked me out. Chloe, you heard that your heart isn't doing. But I remember waking up halfway right through. You're okay because but then I fell right back to sleep. That helps your heart. But we found out that machine isn't working like it should. We need to get your so heart a pumping. In a new machine, your chest is going to hurt. You don't want your chest to hurt, do you? I kind of like the pain, mister. We're gonna save this girl. Put a pacemaker inside her chest. Help her live at least another 12 years. Give or take. <laughs> the, the girl's just going, why did, why did they start just a random song? Oh, don't worry. It was the beat of your pacemaker, honey. child's chest for the second time. As a doctor, I know I shouldn't be faced by it, but it's still heartbreaking. I'm excited, I can't wait! Just remember, Valerie, you don't have to actually jab the knife in there. The knife's actually pretty Let's sharp. Just concentrate on doing our best for that kid, okay? There is a whole, like, I'm, I'm first aid certified, and there is a whole set of rules Ryan, just for children. Really hurts. Come on, there must be something you can do. I didn't think that they would actually do this, but here we have someone trying to get drugs. What? I'm sorry, but we didn't find anything wrong when we examined you. That medication I used before seemed to help. How about huh. some of that? Yeah, he actually is. As I said before, I can't write you a prescription. Uh, Dr. Vaughn, can you please help me explain to this patient? Me, Dr. Chen? He hey, listen to you. Listen. Druggy. Get the fuck out. He's just pretending to be in pain because he's addicted to painkillers. <laughs> oh my god. Well, give him painkillers then. What's Are the problem? Me a liar? For well, I, I ain't I calling you a truther. You. you stole that from Drake and Josh. What does he think? What's wrong with that? A street you corner? stole it. You stole it. Yeah? We're a team. Nothing's more important than our friendship. Uh-huh. That was stolen from Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> so I offered to help him. The first thing he said was, I need drugs. <laughs> well, if he makes it obvious like this, Then give the man drugs! We're public servants! This guy's a bad actor. No, but I should report him to security. By the way, Dr. Vaughn, I heard that you're conducting a pacemaker procedure today. I'm doing what? <laughs> Checks right. the watch. Uh-oh. I have no choice but to follow orders. 
I suppose that's true. Well, good luck. If all goes well, I'd like to ask you to be my assistant. I'll do my best. Um, to those expectations. I don't. I don't do assistance, lady. Wow, you. <laughs> You think I'm good enough to be your assistant, huh? Wow. Chloe Nichols! Pacemaker exchange operation. Since the patient is a chilled, a quick procedure is necessary to minimize the trauma. The trauma. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, uh, so this is where we, uh, take our time, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful, make sure that we do everything right. We can take an extra three hours, sure. Mm -hmm. Please do. Yeah. yeah. Every procedure, no matter how quickly it should take, takes like five hours. First, you'll have to stop the old pacemaker. Ah, okay. So we're gonna do one of those Indiana Jones things where we need to, you know, switch yeah, them out before. Swap them out real quick, yeah. Put a lot of strain on the patient's body. How about I disconnect the first one and remove it, and you install the new one? How about we just get a new patient? This is stupid. Have someone else do it. Toss her in the tray. This is a very serious operation. No fuck ups. So even a small mistake could be fatal. She's gonna take a lot of damage if we screw up, so let's go ahead and go slow. Make sure we, you know, keep the combo but going. But also go fast as shit, otherwise it could cause too much strain on her body, well, so... It's easy. Well, between two pairs of doctor's hands, I think we can manage it, no problem. Yeah, I think we can do it. If anything, we'll just keep a close eye on the vitals. So this whole area right here is, is what's messed up, and you have no shoulders here, sweetheart. Well, she's like nine! Do you need, you need to make sure- alright, we're gonna put your pacemaker in, and as payment, you need to not skip arm day. Yes! Okay. Oh, uh, there's the pacemaker. Ugh. Did they make us in the 80s? Sheesh. Okay, so how do? What? Oh, they did that, it was, con it was contextual, okay. B. Yeah. Well, what did, what did you think? What? Uh, oh. Okay. Alright, cool. Got this. Hey, okay. Okay. Alright. Well, uh, you weren't kidding. Yeah, uh... We'll we'll go ahead and get the vitals up. Man, I love being a doctor, squeezing children's hearts. Oh god. Yeah. The noises they make. It's too bad this one's under anesthesia, but you know, whatever. Revoke his license. Hey, I'll get it back. I got connections. Okay. Uh, so the gel on each side. I'll go ahead and get those vitals all the way back up. Okay. Drain the blood. Drains the blood. There we go. Oh, uh, there she goes again. Stop. Yep. Hands off. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, here we go. So you're doing you're doing this too, go. right? Yes, I'm just I think we're just pre both pressing it and the off chance that uh, it's it's either one of us. Alright, got it. Okay, cool. Alright, let's continue the procedure. Okay. Right blood. Cut this one here. That. That. Place the lead on the tray. There we go. Okay, ready? Okay, we're ready for. Okay, oh, false alarm. Alright, okay. we're good. That can happen. Alright, so what do we need? Drain the blood, maybe? Uh, yes. Uh, what are we supposed to do? I, 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 I don't know. Help? Anyone? I, 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 I don't know. Well, here, here she goes into defib. That's right. Just tick, like that. tick, 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 uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So drain that, but what now? There's nothing to grab on there. I can do is uh, just. Oh. I think you got it. I guess, yeah, you I, guess got it. I guess that would do it. So, so uh, okay. So, so device on the tray. Good. As soon as she comes back. Ah. Yep. Two. One. 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 Two. Was Yay! that was that about a metronome? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, get the new make. Get the new pacemaker ready. Same and spot. Boop. Okay. Boop. I'll grab the other one. Now. Now that you found the right spot, use the scalpel to blitz drain the blood. Okay, got it. 
Yeah. I was worried there for a second. All right. Another one. Uh, there. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Cut. Snip. Drain. There you go. Got it. All right. And. Huh? No! And there she goes. Done two. One, one, two. Two. One, 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 two. Okay. You're going slightly faster, I know. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, suture. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. No, suture, that's the opposite! No, suture is the other one! Activate pacemaker. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh, flambe! Oh, what do we, what do we miss? No, oh, that, that was me. That was me. I goofed it. You flicked her collarbone. Stop it. Well done, doctor. I'll be sure. Okay. That was, that, I, I like that. That was fun. Uh, yeah, it was. It was, was good. It was good as a co-op exercise. Yeah. yeah, really. And to learn that I count slightly faster than the normal person. You're rushing on my fucking tempo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, come yeah, on. We good. had such a good combo what going. Why did you guys go on normal mode? This that's why. Yeah, that's why. It's a picture of the inside of your chest. This is the machine. <laughs> I can't, I don't feel so operation. good. Uh, it's uh, Anybody seen my watch? Shit. Oh no. Well, that's what that ticking sound was. Cool. That was the pacemaker. The pacemaker? It's still it out here. Oh. So Get her back open! Get her back open! Get her back open! No <laughs> time for anesthetic! That's even worse, yeah. <laughs> that's even worse. Yes, it certainly is. But don't get Oh my god, are, are you her mom? Because you sound exactly the same. Now the pacemaker that's inside your chest is like a new friend. <laughs> it's gonna call you names and <laughs> kick you in the stomach a few times, but you need to get used to it because that's the hand you're dealt. Mm -hmm. Just like all the friends you have, that's just the hand you're dealt. That, that was a fun one, I like that. Yeah. That was, that was, I, I like the more medical ones. Let's let's do more of that, yeah. yeah dependable dependable pair. pair. I think we are, a pair of... De the uh, dependable doctors. We're a pair of depends, sure. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what? This is ridiculous. How long am I gonna have to wait? Excuse me. Do we have a tiger mom here? We're getting some top-notch character design. I am loving it all. Yes, me too. Oh, are you here to visit a family member? If so, then the entrance is not for those plebeians. No, that's not why I'm here. Wait, is that the pacemaker girl's mom? I have an mm. appointment with Dr. Rousseau, the chief surgeon. But no one's oh, yeah? been able to get my message to him. If that's the case, then let me call for his secretary. Hey, Marcus! I'm sorry to inconvenience you. Yeah, Marcus is being a little bitch boy ever since he came to L.A. <laughs> You're a doctor here, aren't you? Yes, yeah. my name is Valerie Blaylock. Is Professor Wilkins busy? I was hoping I might get a chance to meet him. You haven't met your doctor yet? Yes. What is he, house? Well, the professor is... Yeah. He's very busy. I rarely see him myself. Well... I guess it can't be helped, but I'd still like to meet him someday. Oh, you can see him at his funeral. But, secretary. Hmm. Thank you. Next week. My name is Irene Quattro. I'm the director of Caduceus. Oh, oh. you're important. Well, ma'am. Oh my gosh, you're important. Under the direct control of Health and Human Services. Thank oh. Thank you very much for your help today. I appreciate it. Hey, not a problem. Glad I could help. Hey, Marcus. It's already been ten days, and he still hasn't told us. About his <laughs> he wakes I'm up sure in the pool of his own he drool. Huh? Oh, huh? Huh? What? He sure is huh. taking his time. Huh? Oh, what year is it? <laughs> to, to bring us back here. Man, after no, the, after no more that, Percocets. After that pacemaker and having to <laughs> squeeze a child's heart, it's just like okay, well. Someone that was here to see Rousseau. I was surprised when she introduced herself. Take the guess who she was. <laughs> Five o'clock shadow, <laughs> tussled hair, flies buzzing uh -huh. around him, what a pit stains on his on his suit. Very funny. Come on. Oh, what? Holy shit! Dependable pair indeed. I know him better than you do. Percocet and alcohol. Uh, <laughs> it's the easiest well, way. What? To... Isn't that a typical breakfast for doctors? <laughs> Well, it it's been three days, Marcus. Of what? <laughs> well, he's the guy who makes. It's been ten days. 
He's the guy who makes house go. Jeez, man, you need to get your life together. Jesus, man. I mean, at least I only do a couple Vicodin to take the pain away. Downing Percocets and orange juice. I at least need to, t you know, uh, you go through a pack of, of Vicodin every week. You t you need one every day, man. She seemed more interested in speaking with Oh, uh, yeah, I, I used to take Vicodin, but then I needed something stronger. I needed something stronger. That was at least five upgrades ago, so they just I don't know what I'm at now. They tried to give me morphine, like but then they realized that I still wanted to live. Yeah, they tried to give me morphine, but then I started taking four of them at, at, at once, just... I just put four needles in my arm and I just press <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, I needed something stronger. That was three, that was three upgrades ago. <laughs> I have more morphine than blood cells right now. And now I just drink three primes a day. <laughs> But it turns out all I needed was a good five-hour energy. But it turns out all I needed was just some nice tea. Alright, car crash victims. All right, <laughs> Ricardo Garcia, broken lower left coste. And damaged and spleen. Reconstruct, reconstruct the rib, the rib and uh, Treat the abdominal hemorrhaging. You got it. Oh, he's dying. I'm a doctor, not an architect. The patient is Ricardo Garcia, a 35-year-old male. He was in a car accident. He That's what you mentioned, in yes. Abdomen, including a few broken he accidentally ribs got into a car. A few spleen. broken ribs and a pierced spleen. That was probably one of his rib bones. In this operation, we have several objectives. We Keep him alive. Don't kill him. Yeah. Repair his broken ribs and attend to his spleen. You got it. This will be a difficult operation. No wonder Russo took off so fast. Because he couldn't do it. Because he's he's he's, well, he's a fraud. Sure he's a sham. But we're a dependable pair. We can do anything. We see him run by. Yeah, you better run, you pussy. Anyway. What, 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 We've also got an ample what? supply of blood on hand. Yeah, Russo ran and hid. He doesn't want to do this. I'll do it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. Save people. Save people over there. Rescue people. Rescue people. Save Rescue everybody. People. Save everybody. Everyone's gonna live. All right. Ah! Oh my God. I guess he's already cut open, so... Oh, he's in cardiac arrest? Yep. Jesus! Yep. Ah. Okay, I'm, ah. I'm waiting for it to show up for me. Hey! Oh. All right, come on. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. Yep, it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll get him up there. Uh, how about I'll, I'll work on vitals, you go ahead and... I'm gonna go for this big gash. Yeah, suture the big gash, we'll deal with the glass here in a second. Oh, drain that. Got that, and I'll start getting out the glass shards. Okay. Oh, oh, glass. There's glass. Oh, I, I got you. I got you. I got oh you. no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yep, yep, yep. I kind of figured we would eventually get to here. Okay, all right, got the glass. All right, all right. Yep, you go ahead and you go ahead and get those. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. There we go. I'll go ahead and get vitals up. Jeez, this one's like one more ooh. thing of glass. Okay. All right. We can reassemble the bone fragments. Let's, oh, this should be good. Let's fix his bones. Yeah, you, you go ahead and take care of that. I'll go ahead and um, start piecing this together. Right there. As much as I can. Oh, shit. There we go. Could that go uh, this else? one. Yeah, you're right. I think you're right. Oh, wait. Nope. There we go. Uh, where's this one go? Uh. Is it. Yeah, do we have to it. turn around? So there so we go. We're almost done. Uh. Golly, Shit. I don't. I don't know. Uh. Oh wait, does this go? There we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Don't Perfect. tell me you missed a fragment. Oh dear. This isn't good. Oh, huh? yep. <laughs> it's still in there. Was that hemorrhagic shock? Swag. His spleen was bleeding pretty heavily. So it's in there. Yep. There ah! it is. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right. Wait, there it is. Got it. Okay, yeah. Just go ahead and yeah, just do, yeah, do yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Save him! Save him! Yeah, it, I'll. Yeah, you go ahead and get that. Like that. That was lodged in his spleen. Jesus Christ! All right. Jesus! <laughs> what the hell? How? Shish! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just, just, just save the man. Here, just save the better. man. Feel better. Mwah. <laughs> you kiss the boo boo and it just immediately heals. So, how the hell did you do that, Doctor? Don't worry about it. I would love to see a Final Fantasy uh, Trauma Center crossover. 
You try your best, you try your damage to save this one patient, and he's just, it just isn't getting better. The, 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 the tumors scared. just won't go away. Then some asshole in a big hat comes in and casts Cura, and then bam. I'm sorry, you are... E excuse me? You're gonna close him up? Yeah! <sighs> I'm Irene Quattro from Caduceus. Oh, nice she came to observe us. Valerie, is this yeah. the woman you sorry. were telling me about? Sorry. I think you press minus or plus, and that skipped like a whole section think, of dialogue. Did we both press A? I didn't press a thing. Oh. I keep my thumb Doctor off the buttons. The touch. It's been a while since I've been surprised. Wait, they wanted us to use the healing touch on that one? Maybe they heard about us, but oh, okay, I, okay. I think that was supposed to be a good healing touch moment, but we're too good! Too we're too good. good! We are too good of rookie doctors. Yeah! Dependable pair! Yeah! I'd be glad to show you. <laughs> just wiping spit all, off of his face. Oh god. I need another tumbler of whiskey. <laughs> Nurse! Percocet! I don't think it was good for her to have seen that. What do you mean, Marcus? They really wanted us to use the Healy Touch. That's too good! That's so funny. That, oh. So much, Doctor. We were totally oh, we saved the dad. You did we saved. save the dad or him? I just did oh, that. I think okay. it was dad. This is I think it was dad. Oh, that prick! You did you just that son of a bitch kill steal? I mean, not kill steal, but he, he life steal. Life steal. Well, I mean, he didn't really like he's life steal, but injuries. he's he's taking credit for our work. So this is how he gets on the bill. He leeches off of us. Ah, oh, boo! Ew! Boo! Boo! This man! Yeah, I'm that angel. I don't know how we'll ever repay you. Oh, uh, just your house is fine. There's no need for tears. Now, but there is need for payment. Options. We will send the bill to your house, which will soon be ours by the end of the year. <laughs> oh, as long as he's in your hands, Dr. Russo. Oh, that fucker. Oh. Okay. Oh. So you, you got the, the, the admiration of that pretty lady. Man, fuck. Marcus, he's... It's not worth getting upset over. The patient is all right. That's all that matters. Yeah, but are you getting paid for this? Well, it doesn't matter if we get paid or not. We gotta turn. We get, we got. We gotta be cool That's here, because he's got us. See us. He's got so us in a good. in a in a shitty position. Because he mm. he he snapped at it first. He's like, oh, no problem. So now, if we were to say, well, no, that was us, then well, at that point, yeah, she'd probably be like, oh, who cares? Also, who are you? Yeah, and even if even if uh, we do explain that it was just us, she's already thanked him, and you know it wouldn't be as good. So it's, she is catching on, though. It is oh, too late. No, nothing. <laughs> Please come with me, Mrs. Garcia. Let's go see how your husband is faring. See, this is when. And Mar then he wakes up. He's like, "You're not the guy who operated on me." This is where Marcus and so, Valerie walk in and just kind of like so, hold the everything. anesthesia line, just kind of like. <laughs> Oh my god, my husband! Uh, I guess you better fix him, doctor! Uh, yeah, go, go right ahead! I'm just glad the patient's okay. He's an excellent doctor. Wait, did I'm we actually tattle? At times. That's pretty funny. I, I think we're just discussing it. Operate on me. That's why I <laughs> In a very defeated us. manner. You, you, you took my... <laughs> you have a rare talent! You actually care about people! <laughs> I like that in a doctor! <laughs> it's rare in doctors! I'm aware of that. Regardless, we'll meet tomorrow to discuss my operation. Ooh, we get to the operate on Boss Man. Four days from now. Uh, okay, I'll never mind. You to choose your team. Okay. <gasps> what? This isn't Trauma Team. Well, I guess I'll choose Valerie and, uh... Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, all right. I said there's no guilt in this game, because oh, guilt doesn't... We've, we've, we've done no. the work, but... That doesn't mean oh, that there's nothing no. like that to take its place. Oh, no. Next time on Trauma oh. Center, <laughs> oh, New no. Blood, oh. we're going to be jumping into this game's version of guilt oh. called Stigma. Don't worry. It's not as bad, though. Doctor, I'm scared. We don't We don't have treaty. We don't have the triangles, which means that we can do anything. Doctor, I'm scared. It's, it's fine. Doctor, 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 look at me. Look at me, doctor. Look at me, doctor. Look at me, doctor. Doctor, look at me. Look at me. Look at me, doctor. We can do this. It can be bad. We can we can absolutely do this. You think so? I think I think so. I know so. You wanna know why? Because we're a dependable pair. Let's fucking do this, mate! Let's fucking do this, mate! Next time on Trauma Center New Blood! Stigma!